So uh, we're sitting here in your innovation lab. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you guys do here. Yeah, so the Innovation Lab is a great space where we, um, we drive a lot of the way that we're thinking, design thinking specifically, um, uh, and how we actually evolve not only our merchant-facing solutions, but uh, solutions across all of First Data, solutions that serve um, some of our financial institutions as well as our enterprise and even small business customers. Um, so it's a great place and a great uh, way to think about um, innovating on your products, Failing fast, um, and you know, and continuing to kind of progress forward to find you know a user experience um, that that really makes sense for the end customer. Yeah, that's really cool, and it's it's really cool that you had the innovation lab, and we're sitting here in Atlanta because it seems like Atlanta is kind of the the hub of all this uh, online payment activity. Yeah, so both online and in, actually in person. So um, some some you know maybe little known facts: um, over uh, almost seventy percent of all global uh, electronic commerce is processed by a company that's headquartered in Atlanta area. That's and amazing. It's amazing, yeah. And, <laughs> and for First Data specifically, um, you know, we have almost six million customers globally. Um, we have uh, operations in almost 34 countries, um, but process payments in uh, almost 100 plus. Yeah. It's, it's, quite a, uh, it's quite a hotbed for, uh, for FinTech and for payment tra you know, transaction companies. But um, as we touched on earlier, you know, we're really trying to evolve that, that philosophy and that mentality and really become more of a, a technology enabler for a broad set of solutions and really think about commerce uh, more holistically, not just payments processing. And what percentage of those customers are small business customers? Uh, I would say probably 85 to 90 percent of those six million customers are small business. Wow. Uh, so it is certainly the large majority. Uh, so we're we're talking about, you know, online, offline. If you have a mom and pop store, if you're purely online, the customer experience is so critically important for small businesses today. What's the biggest challenge you see for them to put the right customer experiences together, regardless of whether it's in person or online? I think it's really uh, them finding the time to focus, learn, and understand on how to bring things together. So where we can make that really easy and seamless, because um, a lot of small business owners just don't have the time and energy to focus on how to bring all that together, right? They need to find a partner that really helps do it for them um, with kind of a, a quick learning curve, mm -hmm. frankly, so they can manage it themselves. And I think that's where our suite of Clover Solutions, we really try to focus on um, making sure that we do a lot of that integration for them we bring kind of quick and easy um, and flexible to the to the equation, um, and even simple use cases like you know connecting your retail store with your online store, allowing um, small businesses to manage their inventory from the solutions directly, mm -hmm. um, to upload pictures online and make sure that their inventory connects from what they sell in the store versus what they sell online is really important, right? In terms of just ease of use. You also mentioned the kind of connecting what they do in the store or online to the back office. From a small business perspective, how important is that? Yeah, so we think about um, a couple of key touch points, if you will, in the life cycle of a customer that we want to help a small business focus on. That's consumer engagement and how they're driving in customers. That's how they're actually processing payments and orders and how they're fulfilling them. Um, how we ensure that we keep their cost uh, down and optimize that cost from an acceptance standpoint. Mm -hmm. And then to your, to your question, how they manage kind of um, some back office functions and how they do things like uh, reconciliation, reporting, uh, integration into QuickBooks or Xero or some of these accounting software packages, and even leveraging um, a tool that we have called Insidex, um, which is really all around data intelligence and mm -hmm. understanding where your customers are shopping, um, where they may actually be shopping uh, with, other, with other small businesses or even enterprise customers, um, and what you can learn from that to drive engagement with the consumer and bring them back to your store. So, the insights. Uh, we don't hear uh, talk about insights a lot on the SMB level. You hear it a ton on the enterprise level. Talk about the, the importance of insights, being able to quickly find out the little pieces of information that will allow you to convert where you might not have to the small business folks. So here's what's, what's so powerfully important in the partnership of a first data with a small business is we, we process for some of the largest companies in the world. And so processing almost two trillion dollars annually in card processing volume, having relationships um, with financial institutions and almost 800 million cards on file that we manage for those financial institutions. Our big data set uh, is, is really unparalleled and unmatched in this industry. And so for us to be able to take that and leverage insights that we could bring directly to a small business that they would have no access to otherwise uh, is really a powerful tool, we think. So um, really basic things like um, if you run an ice cream store and realizing that 
when it rains on the weekend, um, you know, your sales actually go up quite a bit because people just want to get out of the house and, and do something with the family is actually a, a kind of an insight that you wouldn't intuitively think about. But if we can actually bring data to you through a connected and integrated platform um, that allows you to make those connections so that you can drive promotions and other things, yeah. right? That's, that's really powerful for a small business. Yeah. Now, are they thinking on that term when they come to talk to you or are they still focused on how do I process the payments faster or more efficiently? Because it seems like there's a couple of steps here. You know, you got to get the, the, the nuts and bolts done, but it's those insights that could, you know, extend customer relationships, make it easier for them to get new ones. But are they thinking about that or are they still kind of focused on getting things going right now? Yeah, I think the key is not to overwhelm, all right? Um, uh, you know, certainly they want to do the basics. They want to make sure they're processing payments. They want to do that securely. Uh, they want to do that the most cost-effective way that they can. Mm -hmm. um, but to introduce them to things that help really drive customers and revenue back into their business, I think, is key. So that's where loyalty and rewards programs mm -hmm. with our, our Clover uh, Rewards solution set is really important. That's where insights um, and our Clover Insights tools and helping people make those connections are really key. So I think it's important to, to introduce them to that, to help them understand the power that they have at their hands, but to not overwhelm them at the same time, mm -hmm. especially when they're first kind of adopting the solutions. Yeah. All right, so uh, tell us about the marketplace a little bit. Yes, yeah, so something that's um, really unique with the Clover platform is that it is uh, the most advanced open platform for commerce uh, in the ecosystem today. Um, and today we have over 180 applications participating uh, with many developers in the pipeline working to develop new solutions, um, but really unique solutions that help kind of deliver uh, and meet small business needs across a spectrum uh, of, of kind of tasks that they have to accomplish. So a couple of examples um, that I mentioned previously, obviously, were some of those loyalty applications and, and insights applications, but it's also important to know that this is... Uh, Clover is not just the hardware that we see in front of us. It's really a, a platform in which third parties can operate and develop and bring their solutions directly. So I'll give you a couple examples. Um, Booker is a, a company that's focused on delivering appointment-based software to small businesses that might be in hair salons or other appointment-based businesses where they need to manage a calendar, um, customer list. Um, and they've developed a solution that's fully integrated with our Clover platform to serve those customers directly. Um, you can tie that in actually very dynamically to how you drive customers in your door. So if you think about an appointment-based business that might have openings in their appointments on a Tuesday and they need to fill out a way to fill in some of those hairstylists in their appointment book, you can drive kind of um, proactive uh, promotions and appointments you know, at a discount to your user base that may not have been there in the last 30 or 45 days to fill those appointments. So that's really kind of leveraging the power of the platform, focused on a very specific vertical, um, but helping drive not only basic payment processing, how they manage their business, but also how you drive customers back in the door. Yeah, that feeds back into that insights thing because when you're able to use that kind of application that uh, can spot openings and then kind of do the outreach, you can see how uh, successful those conversions are and that feeds back into the insights. So maybe now they'll know, hey, we can hit these people up on this day because we know a little bit more about our customers now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think the other thing that's really important to know is, you know, Clover is built on a platform that's meant to scale with, with a customer. So um, if you start off as a sole proprietor, owning your business, um, single employee, and grow to 250 employees, the solution scales with you. So whether it's a single location, multiple locations, uh, whether that's retail and then online, uh, whether it's a small business growing to an enterprise customer, um, leveraging the power of first state and the scale that we have and the customers that we serve, the platform is, is there to scale with you, which is really important um, as customers kind of grow both from that brick and mortar to the online and just grow naturally. <laughs> they, can, they can edit as needed. We'll just free, free form here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll freestyle. Yeah. Uh, can you rap? No, no I cannot. <laughs>